guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Lazy Playthrough. Today's Lazy Playthrough is the game... Planetoid by Portal Dragon. It plays two to four players. Actually, it takes about one, one, well, to, one four. to four players. There is, there is a variant for one player. Uh, mm -hmm. And it is about, what, 45 minutes to play? It says 30 minutes on the box. That's yeah. about right. Yeah, and we played the original variant of the game, which is a very simple game, which actually uses just this portion of the board. And in this portion of the game, you're just going to be using three different actions, and then you'll get batteries, and you can use bonus actions when you take this scan action. Yep. Uh, and we're now going to play the more advanced version of the game. And we haven't played before. We've only played the basic variant of the game, so we have a little understanding of how it plays. And we're going to kind of add in all the rest of the rules to it, which will make it a little more fun. Uh, I'll go ahead and explain the setup really quick. So first, you're going to have this board here, and this board is arranged in five different pieces that you put together. And then you're going to have these little tokens here, which are basically these guys, which will have basically gems on them, mining gems. And you're attempting to drill them. And when you drill them, then you'll be able to place them in these little areas here. And then from here, you can go ahead and score them. And when you score them, you uh, will get these little bonuses, provided you have the right gems in your delivering area and then put into your storage. So for instance, with this one here, if you had a green gem gold gem and one of these rocks you would get a bonus three points these are all the bonus victory points you're going to be getting as we deliver and then over there in the far corner is going to be bonus points at the end of the game provided you have the most of that specific color yep. mineral uh, these little tokens here are for first and second player so grant has the first player so he'll be going first and then we have secret objectives and we're going to have these two for the entire portion of the game but at the end of the game we'll choose one of them and then It'll we will score the players, them. Yeah. yeah, and we'll score them uh, with all the players. So we'll include scoring mm -hmm. points for whatever we mine, any bonuses we get from mining the correct type of supplies, uh, whoever has the most of those supplies, and then each player will score based on the card that was chosen for each player in the game. This little bag here houses the rest of these, which we actually don't need anymore. These are pretty much done because they filled the board here. And then these are also additional little tokens that you can use for uh, carrying the different types of minerals. So we won't need those as well. In the base game, you simply take one action and it goes back and forth until either all of these little tiles here are flipped over or when all of these little delivery markers have been gained by one player or another, you'll take one final turn and the game is over. With this one though, it's a little different. In this one, you're actually gonna be using the flip side of the board and every turn you'll get three energy, and you can take actions based on the energy you have. So each of these areas here is going to cost energy, and it'll tell you how many energy. And in this case, all of these are one. All of these are two, except for that one I think is one. And then these guys over here are all three, and they also will damage themselves after you use them, which are these little damage tokens over there. Sometimes it will tell you you get bonus energy. When that happens, you'll take that and put it in your batteries over here, and you can utilize them when you want, but once they're gone, they're gone for good. These, however, will come back every turn. So every turn, you're going to actually get three energy to spend. That's why they're currently off of the board, but they can go ahead and start on the board for the beginning of the game. And uh, that's pretty much it. There is a couple things here. These are the two different sets of bonus actions that people can take. Uh, they are the same sets, but I may or may not get more of these than Grant, so we'll just leave them here so that we have the opportunity to get them all. Uh, there's certain ones called, I think it's called Return and Refill, mm -hmm. where you're going to be able to add and install new systems from, from the board. You can place them just like that underneath these areas here. There's also additional new ones, Perfect too. Pick one of these. These are actually different. Oh, okay. Quick scan. So they should be the same. One for every player. And uh, that's pretty much it. After I've used all of my energy, uh, then it'll be Grant's turn, and then he'll use all his, and it'll be my turn. We'll go until the end of the game triggers, which is all these flip over, or we gather all those specific cargo requests. But Grant's first player, so he'll go ahead and start. And just remember, we want to determine which one we want to use of these, so we'll, we'll be thinking about that as we go throughout the game. All right, so I'll start by uh, revealing two face-down tiles. Then I'll take one of them by drilling it. And when you drill, you flip over all of the adjacent tiles. And then for my last one, I will charge, which will bank one energy for a later turn. All right, and you're done now. Now it's my turn. So I do see the, the green ones. I see a, uh, I 
I see a gold one right there. Not so bad. Hmm. What does quick ship mean? Move one stored resource next to this board. That's you just score one. You just take one and score one of them. Yep. Ah, uh, and ship all is move and move on all these over here. Drill lets me take one of these. Sweeping reveals the two like he did. Repair lets me re remove a damage from any of these locations down here. These are like the mega abilities. Precision drill take any one tile and don't reveal any adjacent tiles. That's pretty good, too. Secretly look at two tiles and place them back in their original face bases face down. Hmm. All right, well, let's start with the basic actions first as well. I will sweep. So I'll flip over one. And then I'll flip over one more. Ooh, I don't like those. Uh, I will also drill, like Grant did. And I'll take the screen one here. And then for my final energy, I think I will also add a charge to the battery. And now I'm done, so I'll take these off. And these will go off the board. All right, let's see. I will sweep. I'm reeling two. And then I'll use three to mega drill. And what Mega Drill does is drill up to three adjacent spaces in a horizontal or vertical line, uh, and then you reveal adjacent tiles. So I'll take this one, and this one, and this one. I mean, all of these flip over. Yep. Wow. <clears throat> However, that was very taxing on the drilling system, so... So now yours is broken. The, the Mega Drill action is broken until it's repaired. Now, it's something that didn't come up in the other game, but you can uh, complete more of the uh, more than one of these at once, but you can't have them count double. Gotcha. That makes sense, right? Yes. I'll take this red one. Yeah. Flip these over. Hmm. What else do I want to do? Well, you can't drill anymore, so you can still scan, transport, or utility. Because I can only use one of each of these actions Yep. per round. I'll add an energy for myself, so I can save up. And then I'll reveal face down tiles. Okay. Okay. I will uh, spend one to quick ship, and then I'll spend two to precision drill. Precision drill allows me to take a tile without revealing adjacent. And that's my turn. Sweep again. Sure. Reminds me of the Terran sweep in StarCraft. Yeah. Except both people get the info. Take any time off, really. Uh, you can come with me for now. Oof. And one more. Can't really charge. Maybe a quick ship. Yeah. I'll do that. Take the red one off. Your turn. Okay. I'm going to spend all three to return and refit, which allows me to move any of my stored resources to the board and uh, install and or install one new system. So I'll turn in both of these, which gives me two shipping bonuses. One for doing two green, and one for doing two gold. Which I think is the only time that can happen in this particular game. 
And then I'll just take uh, upgrade drone. And then that'll be my turn. You also have to burn, you have to damage your system yeah. as well. Two and I'll use one for my battery. Yep. Which will overpower my mega drill. But I'll get to take three adjacent spaces. Alright, three horizontal, right? Yep. Or vertical, so I'll take this one too. Nice. Now, unfortunately, because I already had two, this is gonna have to go away. Because I have too many spaces mm -hmm. on the board. So I can only have four, so I drilled three when I had two. So that might be calculated as a, a poor choice of play, depending on what you're going for. All right. Seeing as how what flipped, it probably was. I will pay one to install a new system, thanks to my upgrade drones that I just got. I'll take this drill arm. Now, when you get uh, upgrades, you can immediately use them. Or when they come back online from being damaged. So I'll spend two to take any two revealed tiles, revealing adjacent tiles. So I'll take these two. Now this was adjacent, and this was adjacent, and this was adjacent. So I will move all stored resources, putting them over here to score for later. And one more left here. To take any one, I'll take this one. Flipping these. That's it. Okay. I will upgrade a new system and get a utility. And I will charge to bank one for later. And I will just take one tile. I'll take this red one right here. And that's my turn. Hmm. All right, I'll do this repairing a system, mm -hmm. removes this. And then I use all three of these to mega drill again. Which will give me this one, this one, and this one. Flipping these over. Sure. I will pay two. To use my repair bot that I just got, that'll allow me to repair or remove two damage system tokens for two energy. Well, that's useful. Uh, then I'll pay my last one to drill, and I'll just drill this green one right here, which doesn't reveal anything. All right, I'm gonna return and refit all three. Don't you give me this bad boy? Because I have these three. And this little red guy will just come off. Okay, is that it? Uh, I get to choose. Yeah, upgrade drone seems too good. And this goes into transport, so it goes right there. Yep. Alright, I will spend two to ship all. 
doesn't score me any bonuses, but what can you do? Uh, then I'll spend two more using my one that was banked and take two face-up tiles, which won't reveal anything due to where they were revealed from. So what are our options? I got a quick scan, secretly look at one tile and place it back in its original space, face down. But this blows up when I use it. Uh, repair two damage tokens from any of your systems for two. And the drill arm. Huh. We're going to do that. Put that one there. Let's just install the drill arm into the drill system. And then... I'll put two here. And I'll take this one. Flipping this, and then I'll take this one, flipping this. Wait, the drill arm? You have to take revealed tiles? Oh, I have to take revealed tiles. Well, this one was revealed. Yeah. So this I can't um, take something take else. Take any then. two revealed tiles, reveal all adjacent tiles. I feel like the way it's worded, you have to take two that are face up and then flip up the adjacent ones. I see. Okay. All right. I'll, take this I'll, I'll, I'll look in the rule book real quick, drill arm. Okay, actually, uh, the advanced thing says you can do the move that you just did. Okay. Your turn. It says take the drill action to use, uh, on a reveal tiled and then do it again. Okay. So. I'll go two for the drill arm. I'll take two gold. And then I got one more. So I think I'll just... Uh, Bank and energy for next turn. And that'll be it. Alright, these guys are going to go back. Hmm. Take these two. This one, and then these flip over or no? Yeah. Need to reveal tiles. Reveal yeah. all adjacent tiles. One and two. And then I got one left. Ah, oh, quick ship. Quick shipping's pretty good. You're up. All right, I'll take two and ship all. The demanders are pretty happy. They awarded me with a a token, and then I'll do the. Actually, I won't do the drill arm. I'll just drill, and I'll leave my battery there, and that'll be all three energy. Take one tile. This guy here. I'll put this here. Oh, also, I should have that on that. Yep. Which will also get me this little guy here. Cool. And that's it. I'll go with uh, the drill on. I'll take this gold right here. Which will flip over this. Yep. Ew, that's just a rock. I'll take another gold. And I think I'll bank another energy. Two drill arms. Let's go with one. And two. 
And this flips over too, right? These guys. Right. Yep. Done? Or are you still going? I'll take this off. I'm not sure if I actually return this or not. Go ahead. I'm starting to feel like maybe I did now. <laughs> um, well, just look in the instant replay. Alright, so what I will do is I will quick ship this one for one and then I will drill arm and take these two which reveal and that'll be my turn alright two for another drill arm And then one for an energy. Your turn. Okay, two for ship all. She'll give me this token. And then I will do a mega drill. And I'll just drill right here. Oh, extra one there. So the video cut out on Grant's last turn, and as opposed to starting all over again, because this is a lazy playthrough, we're just going to go ahead and show you the scoring for the game. But you're going to see like 99.8% of the game Planetoid by Portal Dragon. So let's go ahead and do the scoring aspect now, as long as the camera likes to stay on. So the first thing we're going to do is reveal our secret hidden objectives. Mine is uh, you get one victory point for each set of rock, gold, and emerald. Rock, gold, and emerald tokens. Sure. In grants. Each player that has no upgrades gets six victory points. Nice. So we both don't get any points for this one. And then for this one, we each get two. Because you have two rocks and I have two gold. Okay, you've got a pen for us. I do. All right, so let's go ahead and score the game now. And the first thing it's going to ask is these circles here. All right, our names down. All right. And then we'll go ahead and count these up. Four, eight. There's 20. 30. 58. 40. Uh -huh. Okay, I've got 10, 20, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is 20 right here. Yeah. That's 40. Mm -hmm. 51. And then we're going to score these, our turn ins. I got 4, 3, and 3. That gives me 10. I got 1, 2, 3, and 5, which comes to 11. Okay, and then we're going to score for who has the most of each of the colors. Alright, I got three blues. I think I that goes not. to me. Yep. I got three reds. How many do you have? Uh, five. Okay, that goes to you. I got three green crystals. Oh, I've got more than that. Okay. Eight. Uh, I've got nine gold. That's you. And then I got three rocks. Six rocks. That gives me ten. Uh, yes, and I get five. All right, and then no points for this one here, and we both get two points for this one here. Yeah, that's two because the least amount we had was two for each set. Yeah, so I got two, 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 and two here. And then we're just going to add them up. So, Grant, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That puts you at... 76? 76 points. 
And then five, six, seven, seventy-three points for me. It's a close game. It was a really close game, but you ended up coming out victorious nonetheless. Once again, uh, and this was Planetoid. This was the more advanced version of the game. There is a simplistic, more simplistic version of the game for beginners, or if you just want to play the quick and easy route. But uh, this one was pretty simple too. We played like half an hour, yeah. and uh, I really enjoyed this one. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, you know interested. what I attribute your like, loss to? What? It's when you did that huge drill that flipped over everything, and I was like, oh, I'll just take these two diamonds for ten points. <sighs> yeah, I also got rid of a token as well in the yeah, game, but that... I did a big drill as well. Mm -hmm. And my victory condition, I didn't settle it as much as I probably could have. I could have probably turned a couple of these into gold as opposed to rocks. Yeah, my other one was uh, players get five points if they have no damage systems. Uh, my last turn I damaged my drill because on my next turn that I didn't get, I was going to repair it for five points. And my other one was whoever has the most resources, which I think you did. I beat you by one of the resources. So I'm glad I didn't use that one. But nevertheless, a lot of fun. Enjoyed this game. If you're interested, go ahead and check out Planetoid by Portal Dragon. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed this one, and I think you guys will as well. If you like a little bit of a puzzle game, a little bit of a memory game, drilling, pretty simple with some beautiful components, high quality value in the game. Um, yeah, I think the memory aspect's more in the the, uh, the basic version. I think there's you use it less in uh, the, the advanced one. Yeah, I mean, probably. It's also, it, it becomes more of like what abilities you want to utilize and how you utilize them. Yeah, as opposed, as opposed to uh, deciding. Flipping and... Flipping or or uh, or searching. Yeah, and I mean, the game's always going to be very close because no matter what, you're going to have a very similar amount of tokens at the end of the game. Probably more so for the basic game than this one here, but nevertheless, fairly close. I have one less than you this game, and the previous game we had the exact same amount, so... Yep. Overall, really enjoyable. Take a look at the game Planetoid by Portal Dragon, like I've already said a million times. Thanks for watching this lazy playthrough, guys. And as always, we look forward to seeing See you guys, guys next time. Ta next, next time. <laughs>